Oh children, today we are going to do a fun science activity. I'm sure you all will enjoy it. Come on, let's have a look at the materials. Ready? So, I took a big bowl and filled it with water and I collected few objects from my house to check which of them are going to sink and which of them will float. So, are you ready to check which items sink or which items float? Sink means when you put any object inside and it goes straight to the bottom. It means that that particular item is sinking. And when you put something in water and it keeps swimming on the top surface of the water, it means it is floating. Now, I'm going to put items one by one in this bowl filled with water. But when I show you the object, I want you also to think before I put it inside whether it will sink or float. So, are you ready? Look at this. I have a leaf. What do you think? Will it sink or float? Okay, let me put it and check. Ah, look, the leaf is floating. Let me take another object now. Hmm, this is a spoon. What do you think? Will it sink or will it float? Let me put it inside the water. Oh, look, it sank. Hmm, so the leaf is floating. And the spoon sank in the water. Children, I also want to tell you that when you put the objects in water, be careful. Don't just throw them. If you throw them, water will splash out. So you have to put them inside the water gently. Okay? Look, I have a woolen ball here. What do you think? Will it sink or float? Let me put it inside. Oh, it is floating. Let's see what else I have. Oh, look. I have a paper cup. What do you think? Will it sink or float? Let us try. Oh, even this is floating. Hmm. The next object is an eraser. You use erasers, don't you? Should we check whether it is floating or sinking? Ah, it sank. It went straight to the bottom, didn't it? Yes. Oh, look, I have a paper clip. What do you think? Will it sink or float? Let's check. Hmm, even the paper clip sank. What else do I have? I have a ruler. What do you think? Will this ruler float or sink? Let's check. <gasps> the ruler is floating. Wow, we have many things which float, huh? So, here I have a key now. Let us check whether it sinks or floats. What do you think? Come on. You also think while I try. Ah, the key sank in. What else do I have? Oh, I have a fruit fork. What do you think? Will it sink or float? Ah, oh, it Look, I have a bangle over here. What do you think? Will it sink or float? Let me try. Oh, the bangle also sank. Look at this, children. I'm sure you know what is this. This is a tissue paper. What do you think? Will the tissue paper sink 
or will the tissue paper float? Let's try. Oh, it is floating. Wow. Look children, I have an artificial flower. What do you think? Will this flower sink or float? Let's try. Oh, this flower is floating. Look children, I have a piece of chalk with me. What do you think? Will it sink or float? Let's try. Oh, look, it sank. The piece of chalk, it sank down children. Did you see that? Wow, look, it sank. Lovely. Look, I have a straw. It's a plastic straw. What do you think? Will it sink or float? Let's try. Oh, the straw is floating. Lovely. We have so many items which float, but we also have many items which sank in water. They went straight to the bottom of the bowl, didn't they? Now that was great fun, wasn't it? Yes. So you can also take a container, fill it with water and collect items from your house and check whether they are sinking or floating. But be careful, you should ask mama or papa whether they are okay if you wet those items or not. Okay, come on, now you try. <laughs>